it is really, 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 really snowing. Snow? Snow. Why is it so much snow? That's not possible. So this came on very quickly. Dashboard cam, ish. Oh, there's lightning over there. I don't think I cut that out. Beautiful day. It's just not what it was like this morning, that's for sure. Bus. I should have my coffee first. Yeah, I can't go anywhere without my coffee in the morning. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there we go. There's some lightning. Their patchwork film was basically filmed while learning how to film, involved many people, people which have come and gone during the production. It was badly written. We were writing it as we go. It was supposed to be funny, ended up not. It was turning into its own thing, whether good or bad. We did casting calls, during, uh, and we just had a, harsh, uh, a section of the script done. It was a complete mess, but we knew it would be because we were figuring out how to go about making a movie while shooting the movie by shooting the movie. It was supposed to be full length. In the end we ran out of time out of a few months of shooting. Uh, it was very fun and very hard to do. It ended up being put in the vault after we were finished shooting it and sat there for about a year. I did not edit the film until a year later, roughly. It sat there and I went on to shoot the Dream World sequences, which I, at the time I did not know was the Dream World sequence. The Dream World sequences is a bunch of abstract short films all strewn together to form an abstract art piece. Right after we were finished shooting Ross and Kubler, we started to prepare the move to Vancouver. So therefore we, we had the idea to make that a documentary as well. So then we shot there and back again. We used three cameras as each batteries, each of the camera's batteries died on the trip, uh, we just switched from camera to camera. We made a very, very cheap travel documentary 
of the road trip to do Vancouver. And then uh, we figured out when we were there that it was just a very stupid idea to go there with so little money. By the time we got there we had no money. So I decided to come back. So that's why it's called there and back again. I made a joke of that before we left, calling it there and back again. But we were not but we're not coming back again, so I'm not gonna call it that. We ended up coming back. So that's why the film is called There and Back Again. When we came back, that's when we started shooting the Dream World sequences. All the shorts for that. And during that process, uh, Alan Clausen had the idea to put them together into a feature film called The Patchwork Film. He even come up with a name. So we started doing that, and that's what it became. And then when, it's, when it was time to do Patchwork Film 2, I wanted to re-edit that, remaster it, make it a bit more concise, more, more neater, more focused. So that, then it became the Dream World short, or sequence. And that's the story behind that. And when I was doing Patchwork Film 1, I, uh, when I was editing it all together, I was going from house to house. I was living all over the country. I was in Steinbach, I was in Vancouver, I was in Richmond, Quebec, I was in Steinbach, I was in Dryden. That film, that Dream World sequence, was shot all over Canada, and I was basically a traveling bum, living from place to place, couch to couch. So, it's a lot of blood, sweat, and tears shooting the Dream World sequence. So, uh, and I presented it to you twice in two forms in the Patch of Duology. When Patchwork Film 1 was all said and done, edited and released, near the end of 2012, I ended up back in Steinbach, finally at my own place, after being kicked out twice from other places and all over the country. I was finally settling down and re rethinking everything. And all the while, I've been not, I've been video blogging my life here and there, sometimes daily, sometimes monthly, and weekly sometimes. And I decided during the recoup time, recuperation time, I decided to make films out of my video blogs, make a shortcut and show you glimpses of my life from years 2011 to 2000, the end of 2012. So that there birthed a filmmaker's journal and a filmmaker's journey. Those films technically go together, but they're separate films. And you will see in those films for the most part, a small glimpse of my life and what it was like. And it's very truthful. It's very raw. So that's a filmmaker's journal and a filmmaker's journey.